Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will show you how you can run your Selenium IDE test using Windows Bash file. So watch the video till to the end, then you will be able to do the same thing. I have set it up today's topic as this way, record simple script for with Selenium IDE, then run a script to verify that the script is okay, then we will save that script. Thereafter, we will create a result directory, then we will create Windows Bash file, then execute the test from Windows Bash file. We will use google.com as a Google search for a simple script. In order to do that, first open Chrome browser, Google Chrome browser. As Selenium IDE is a browser add-in like Firefox and Google Chrome, if you want to know how to set up Selenium IDE as a browser extension, then I have a separate video for that. I'll put that link in the description. You can watch from there. So here is the upper right corner Selenium IDE icon. Click over here. Selenium IDE will be open this way. First link, record a new test in a new project. Click there. It is asking the project name. Let me put the project name is project one. Then any name if this name will be basically depends on your test then click ok then it is asking url as i mentioned i will use the google.com for google search so copy from here and just paste it over here so once i paste url then click start recording as soon as i will start recording it will start recording my activity so click start recording then google chrome open you see selenium id is re recording in the bottom of the page i will search with the keyword test soft usa then click google search once it is done search page appears then i'll just close the browser this is my recorded script thereafter you need to stop that once you stop it it is asking the test name i will put the test name selenium ide batch just making a short name selenium ide batch so then click ok it is our test in order to verify we need to run it again so before closing browser we can just insert a new command right click insert new command which is like echo command that is basically it's a selenium web driver system.out.println similar like that i'll push the custom message that search results appeared result just a custom access then we can run this script click run button over here before running let me close the browser open browser so that we can watch this click here run button it is running you see it is completed and here is our search result search custom message printed now we need to save our script in order to save go to right side top corner click save project we'll save this project in desktop we have a selenium ide folder and project name selenium ide batch let me put that way selenium ide batch then click save it is saved so that means we covered, we record simple script, run that script, it is good, save script. Now we need to create a result directory. Then we will create batch file. So in order to do that, go to Selenium IDE batch folder. Here is our project. Let me create a new folder, new folder, results that is our result folder folder so now we need to create a bash file let me create a bash file over here right click new in order to create a bash file you need to do the text file text document let me bash name selenium ide 
batch batch dot bat batch file extension is bat you need to do that thing then hit yes once it is done so now you need to let me minimize everything our file is created now we need to write the command for that right click edit this is the edit first thing in order to create a batch file where we want to uh, location you need to go for there we need to come this location then we need to trigger selenium id batch dot bat file so here this is my location copy first thing cd we need to go that location thereafter we need to run the selenium batch file so the command is selenium side runner then we need our project name selenium ide bash dot site this is our project that's why i'm putting it side by side so that you can understand all the thing what i am doing so first thing this is a command selenium run from the command line then we need to mention our which file which project we are running on selenium ide bash dot site then space double hyphen then you need to mention your directory so output directory equal to our folder name our folder name is result results that's all for this bash command running so that means it will go there navigate this location then run this selenium script here and then it will save the result in output directory in a results folder now we need to save it save this now let me verify the results folder is that there is nothing over here so after run we will verify if there is a result now close the best file and here is the best file just double click you see it is running It is taking little time but it will run first time it takes little time to initiate that's why it takes little time is it is running runs all the thing times little bit takes because it initialized then run all the thing first time run it takes time so running whatever we mentioned with the chrome browser it is opening it is google home page app here it types the search term search result appear then it will close the browser so once it is closed test is passed it's a very quick after that so now our turn is we need to verify the result folder so go to the result folder it is the result you see result what time runs it is a json format so one thing i forgot about that in a bash file right click edit if we don't mention any format over here then it will by default format is the json format will create the report otherwise if you mention xml it can create the xml report too so let me verify the result edit uh, open with just notepad you see number of test suite one and if we scroll right number of past test one that means your test is passed and whatever the exactly time taken everything it is mentioned in the json format all the thing that means our test is passed and it is run by the 
windows batch file so that's all for today's tutorial i think those who are new in selenium ide test run using windows batch file this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video